Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. I don't play politics, Dolly Parton blasts people angry about what she did, do you agree with her? Iconic country music singer songwriter and actress Dolly Parton has fans of every stripe, spanning the entirety of the political spectrum. It was sad, then, that this legend ended up making such a blunder through making a recent appearance at the Emmy Awards. This annual television awards show, run by and for the entertainment industry in Los Angeles, California, ended up being little more than a forum for liberal celebrities to get on stage and trash Republican President Donald Trump for having a strong conservative agenda. During the broadcast, she went on stage with liberal actresses Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda to present an award, and she stood silently with them as they zinged President Trump by saying, in, 9 to 5, we refuse to be controlled by a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot. And in 2017, we still refuse to be controlled by a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot. Nobody seemed to be happy by Pardon's presence on stage while that demeaning joke was told. Conservatives were upset that Pardon stood silently while they told that joke, and did not speak up against it. Liberals were angry because Pardon just stayed silent and did not actively participate in the telling of the joke. Pardon recently defended herself during an appearance on Fox and Friends, saying, Everybody knows I don't do politics. I've got as many Republican fans as Democrats and I don't want to make any of them made at me. I don't play politics. Plus, I'm an entertainer. I don't usually voice my opinion in a situation like that. She added about the Emmys, I was a little nervous, but I knew I wasn't going to play the game. A lot of people got mad at me because I didn't say something. I thought, what if I had said something? I didn't know what to say. I just always go to a boob joke if all else fails. Do you still support Dolly Parton, or are you angry with her? Hillary, please run again. Trump eviscerates Hillary after hearing her stance on flag protests. Hillary Clinton made her shocking stance on NFL flag kneelers known. It was so bad that President Trump responded and completely humiliated her. That's not against our anthem or our flag. Actually, kneeling is a reverent position. It was to demonstrate in a peaceful way against racism and injustice in our criminal system, said Hillary. I think it would be a grave error for Democrats to recede from those fights. So therefore we have to stand up, fight back, resist," said Hillary. She basically admitted that she cares about the protests because she feels she can use them as a political tool against Trump. President Trump's response was amazing. Is she going to run? Oh, I hope. Hillary, please run again. Go ahead, President Trump joked. He then gave a more serious critique of her answer. I think she's wrong. Look, when they take a knee, there's plenty of time to do knees and plenty of time to do lots of other things. But when you take a knee, that's why she lost the election, said President Trump. Honestly. It's that thinking, that's the reason she lost the election. When you go down and take a knee or any other way, you're sitting, essentially, for our great national anthem. You are disrespecting our flag and you are disrespecting our country, and the NFL should have suspended some of these players for one game. Not fire them. Suspended them for one game, said President Trump. If Hillary Clinton actually made the statement that in a forum sitting down during the playing of our great national anthem is not disrespectful, then I fully understand why she didn't win, said President Trump. Joy Behar explains why no one should attack her comedians are the most important people right now. Joy Behar and the rest of The View talked about the criticism that SNL got for not mentioning Harvey Weinstein. Behar went on to argue that people shouldn't be attacking comedians because comedians like her are very important. 
Last week everyone was saying the late night hosts didn't mention the Weinstein scandal. But you know they were always making jokes about Roger Riles and Bill O'Reilly. SNL took a hit for not saying anything. Now you have SNL doing something. You have James Corden doing something, and now it's, oh, it's in poor taste, it's too soon, whined Sonny Hostin. Why? Rose McGowan particularly singled out Corden. I really don't think that it's appropriate to attack comedians. We're on the right side of things, responded Beher. Also, the comedians are there to say the emperor has no clothes. We're important people right now. So, I don't know why attack comedians. And yet what you just said is interesting. She only went after Corden. Camille made a joke. Oliver made a joke, SNL, we all do that, said Beher. She used not productive language. She called him a piglet. Like she made fun of his weight. There is a difference, making a joke about the accuser and the person who is the pig in this situation, in this case Harvey Weinstein. You're making a joke about Harvey, said Sarah Haynes. Dolly Parton exposes what stopped her from speaking out during anti-Trump Amy speech. Dolly Parton has been criticized for not saying anything when Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda launched a number of anti-Trump attacks during the Emmys. Well, back in 1980. In that movie, we refused to be controlled by a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot, said Fonda. And in 2017, we still refuse to be controlled by a sexist egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot," said Tomlin in reference to President Trump. Pardon just stood there awkwardly. Pardon explained to Fox and Friends exactly what happened that night. Lily and Jane are Lily and Jane and I'm Dolly. I can't tell everyone what to do. Everybody knows I don't do politics. My mother was a Democrat and my daddy was a Republican, so I'm a hypocrat," said Pardon. I've got as many Republican fans as Democrats and I don't want to make any of them mad at me, so I don't play politic. Plus I'm an entertainer, and I don't usually voice my opinion in a situation like that. I was just happy to be back with them to get that standing ovation about the movie. I was there about the movie, said Pardon. I was a little nervous, but I knew I wasn't going to play the game. But a lot of people got mad at me because I didn't say something. And I thought what if I had said something? I didn't know what to say. I just always go to a boob joke if all else fails," said Pardon. Maxine Waters urges the DNC to give Harvey Weinstein money. No matter what side of the political spectrum you are on, it shouldn't be hard to condemn Harvey Weinstein for his terrible actions. Nobody should be talking about giving him money, or doing anything that would benefit Weinstein. However, according to Maxine Waters, the DNC should be giving money to Weinstein. The Democrats who have received money from Weinstein have had a tough time knowing what to do with it. Because in the end, they care about money far more than they care about the victims of sexual assault or rape. Hillary Clinton announced that she would not be giving any of Weinstein's money away. Some have suggested that you use the money to help the victims of sexual assault. But Maxine Waters thinks they should give the money to Weinstein himself. What about the money? Are you supportive of the DNC giving back money? Asked him SNBC's Thomas Roberts. They should give it back to him. First of all, they may not have known what was going on, but the fact is that they now know. They know now, they ought to give him the money back and make sure that the word goes out that the Democratic Party does not welcome that kind of money coming into our campaigns and dealing with you know, our elections. It is not to be accepted by us, Waters said. When we know better, we're supposed to do better, said Roberts. That's right. I like that, said Waters. How is giving Weinstein more money doing better? Liv Spurs coach Popovich just called Trump a soulless coward, he got ripped apart. 
Greg Popovich is a great basketball coach, as evidenced by all the NBA championships he has won with the San Antonio Spurs. However, Popovich has earned plenty of enmity in Texas where he lives and elsewhere for his failure to restrain himself from spewing out his hateful liberal beliefs regarding Republican President Donald Trump. Popovich went on a tirade again recently over the fact that Trump, who has been busy dealing with the devastation following Hurricanes Harvey, Maria, and Irma, had gotten somewhat behind on calling families of fallen soldiers. This set off Popovich, who said to Dave Zier in a ultra liberal magazine The Nation, I've been amazed and disappointed by so much of what this president had said, and his approach to running this country, which seems to be one of just a never ending divisiveness. But his comments today about those who have lost loved ones in times of war and his lies that previous presidents Obama and Bush never contacted their families, is so beyond the pale, I almost don't have the words. He added, This man in the Oval Office is a soulless coward who thinks that he can only become large by belittling others. Greg continued, We have a pathological liar in the White House, unfit intellectually, emotionally, and psychologically to hold this office and the whole world knows it, especially those around him every day. The people who work with this president should be ashamed because they know it better than anyone just how unfit he is, and yet they choose to do nothing about it. This is their shame most of all. The blowback for Popovich's loose comments was harsh. Said one internet commenter, anyone remotely familiar with Greg Popovich it would not dignify any comment this obviously mentally deficient cretin utters. Added another, Popovich's hate of our country and its elected president is disgusting. Do you think Popovich needs to shut his mouth and stick to basketball?